Oh, hey folks. Today's post is going to be on neck pain. There's many different types of neck pain out there, so I'm going to be specific on this uh, type of neck pain. If you have a job where you're kind of leaning like this, maybe you read a magazine, looking at a computer, constantly just kind of jamming up your neck like this, okay? Maybe you're a mechanic looking up. These are the kind of neck pains I'm talking about, okay? They're going to create migraines, some tingling and numbness in the back of your skull. Uh, you're going to feel a lot of different uh, type of um, feelings that kind of send signals to the side, front, or through your skull to your eyeballs, uh, behind the eyeballs, and you feel uh, kind of headachy behind the eyeballs. All right, These are caused by a couple of different muscle groups and the trigger points that coexist with them. Uh, you've got the suboccipital muscle groups, all right, and these guys uh, are probably the biggest contributors to migraines. There's four muscles that run on the occipital um, or the occiput, where uh, you've got the base of the skull, and right behind there, males have the occipital protuberance. It's that little bony protuberance that comes out. Females don't have such a big protuberance, but there's muscles right there, and they are connecting the, la the first two vertebrae to the skull and they assist in kind of tucking the chin, nodding, turning, shifting, okay? You've also got your uh, splenus muscles, okay? You've got your splenus capitis and splenus service, all right, uh, services. And these two uh, areas of trigger points also have a lot to do with that uh, dull feel or pain that comes in the back of the neck. So knowing this, how can we alleviate it? Well, simply using your peanut at the base of the skull is gonna help. You can kinda rock side to side. You can move up and down. You could unisphere, okay, right behind the occiput or occipital protuberance. All right, and turn your head. Um, you could just lay there and try to move that skull towards the floor, working your way up to the base of the skull. You could also bridge up a little and get little quarter rolls right at the base of the skull top above the traps all right these spots here you might actually when you hit them they may send signals to the back of the brain right behind the eyeballs or to the side of the skull maybe even the top of the head these are uh, very very telltale signs your trigger points there um, we can also stratosphere at the base of the skull on one side and just kind of move our head around, all right? And when we're done rolling with this, this may take, you know, 10 minutes or so to work that tissue. And as you work it, it feels really good, so you start spending a little more time on it. When you're done, I'd ask you to just give yourself a good pattern by doing some chin tucks. A chin tuck, picture a rod going through your ears, and you're like a rotisserie chicken, okay? So you're just, tucking your chin, kind of pulling the muscles in the front, but you'll feel the pull in the back of the neck in those suboccipital muscles. Okay, you can do it on the floor. But the key point here is to think about that rod going through your ears. You don't want to move the head up down when you're rotating. You want to just kind of rotate through as if you're a rotisserie chicken through the ears. All right, folks, uh, thank you. Tomorrow, we're going to show you some other stuff to help you alleviate pain. Make sure for now you're drinking plenty of water and keep on peeing on it.